Well, hi everyone. Welcome to my latest video. Well, it's a beautiful day here in New York today, so I figured I'd film my introduction outdoors. Well, this new video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to talk about what I've earned in the last several weeks since I became monetized. Well, when I reached 1,000 subscribers and I became monetized. I've gotten a couple of questions about that, and I thought I would answer them. Now, I'm not only going to talk about the money that I've earned from YouTube in this video, but I'll also talk about the related revenue that came from my Amazon Associates account. And you'll see what I mean. Not a lot of money, but for several weeks, it's a pretty good catch. You can buy some more equipment, maybe a new sound system if I needed it. So anyway, let me go ahead and get into the detail of this, and hopefully you get something out of it that you find useful, and if you do, consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, let me start off by showing that I achieved 1,000 subs and actually 7,200 hours of viewed watch time, which was 3,200 more than I needed, on 6-18-2020. And I showed here, highlighted in yellow, the 6-18, and for the next couple of days after that. Now, it was just only four days after that that I got the email really early in the morning, at 6 o'clock in the morning, that made me smile. Well, waking up to that was pretty, was pretty pleasant to find out that I actually had been monetized already by YouTube. I thought it was going to take a couple of weeks, which is what I had heard other people say, maybe even as much as a month before you would hear from them, but I didn't. Now, this video, I'm going to be talking about what has taken place from that date, June 22nd, all the way up until today, August 8th, 2020 and how much money I've actually earned. Revenue in general, just to be more generic about it. So with that, let me start talking about some of the aspects of uh, the things that were very helpful on this. As some of you may know who visited my channel, this is my front page. I'm gonna do some things that you're probably all aware of, at least those of you who already have a channel, but you never know. It might help others as well. When you're the owner of the channel, you get these extra buttons here, and I'm gonna click the Customize Channel button. I spend a lot of time here. And then I go into this particular one that is the views, the number of views I've had on my channel. Now I'm in the YouTube Studio. And in the YouTube Studio, you can see a lot of the things that occurred in the last 28 days. You see my total views, watch time, etc., etc. And something here that says your estimated revenue. Now that's only for the last 28 days. So for purposes of this video, I'm going to change the time frame. I'm going to make it to a custom date, and I'm going to back that date up to the 22nd. So it'll be from the 22nd to today, I will apply. So this shows you what I've made from YouTube in terms of ad revenue in the last seven weeks, approximately. The watch time, number of subscribers I picked up, the number of views I've had, and it shows the daily results of all of that. Now just to point out, some of you again may know this, but once you get monetized by YouTube, they refer to it as being part of their partner program. So you are now a partner with them because they are taking, you know, some of the money that you're earning in those ads. Uh, matter of fact, a very large chunk of it from, I understand, anywhere between 35 and 40 percent. Now, how do you get paid from YouTube? I just want to go over that real quickly. In order to get paid, you actually have to create what's called an AdSense account. Now, AdSense is a Google tool that they use to sell ads to customers, product vendors, service providers, whatever. And then they take those ads and they put them on the videos that are produced and are monetized. Which videos they pick? Well, there's a lot of calculations that go into that from what I understand, but they try to pick topics similar to what your channel would normally cover. So my channel covers a lot of computer equipment, so I would tend to get a lot of ads related to that. But I also do some content creation, including what I'm doing here. So I'll get a lot of ads that are meant for content creators as well. Now to get an AdSense account, let me just go ahead and show that here. You're going to actually have to go to the URL that I have popping up on the screen right now. If you go to that URL, google.com forward slash AdSense forward slash start, then you'll be able to get into it. So let me show you what happens if you click on that. So here we are inside of the AdSense. It's the Google AdSense. And now you can go ahead and join AdSense. If you don't already have an account, 
you would go to get started and create one. I'm not gonna go through that now, but I'll just jump right into my AdSense account so you can see what it looks like. So here I am in my AdSense account. As soon as you enter in it, all I had to do was click the sign in. And since I had already signed in and told to remember my sign in, it jumped right into it. It shows some basic stats of your account. My current balance is 2411. Now that's the amount that they've already had transferred to them by YouTube. As you saw in the previous page, I have earned a lot more than that by YouTube, but that transfer has not taken place yet. I believe this was just for June. So what will happen is the July total will actually be sent over to AdSense. I believe it's sometime between the 10th and 14th of the month. So I'm not up to those dates yet. It is the 10th and 14th that I should be seeing those transferred over. And then the total amount will actually bump up to that amount that you've seen or very close to it. It won't include the August numbers. And as long as my account is not suspended for any reason, whether that's a, a hold on the actual AdSense account, which could happen if they've ran into some issues with my bank account, for example, or if my YouTube channel had been suspended for some reason, usually because of violation of the policies, as long as neither one of those things took place, then I should actually get paid. And I don't expect either one of those issues to happen. I think the normal payment is the 21st of the month, but it's plus or minus a couple of days on that. So we'll have to wait and see. Now you can actually create your AdSense account now. Now there are things that it will not let you fill in until you get monetized, however. They are notified obviously by YouTube when you've reached the metrics that are needed, the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 hours watched. But once that happens, you'll be able to complete the actual account. And when you are monetized, you'll have to provide a method of payment that you want Google to pay you on. They're gonna want tax information, such as your social security number. They're gonna want your primary contact address. They're gonna want a payment confirmation. And the way they get the payment confirmation is they will deposit what is referred to as a penny amount, an amount that is somewhat less than a dollar. And then you'll have to go into the Google AdSense account and basically confirm that amount. So they are checking your bank out with that as well. So they're making sure that it's a bank that they want to do business with. And if it is, then they will, after you type in the number, they will follow this all up with sending you a letter through the mail. And that letter through the mail will then have a code on it that you'll have to enter along with the penny amount in order to get your account and address verified properly. Okay, now I'm back to my status page. And I usually have this up on my third monitor if it doesn't need to display anything else in a particular period of time. For example, it's up there right now. You can see how many subscribers I have. When one adds, this changes dynamically. As you can see here, it says updating live. Every so often you see this little blip happen just like that. And that indicates that it's been updated. So it's every few seconds it gets updated as I recall. Now let me talk about YouTube video monetization. First of all, all videos that you upload once you've been monetized, and you've got to check this out. So if I go back to videos, first of all, you see this column called monetization and restrictions, both of those columns actually, they will only appear on your video summary once you've been monetized. Now the first time they monetize you, I believe a pop-up comes up and says, do you want them to try to monetize all your existing videos? I can't reproduce that here, but as soon as I came into this, right after being monetized that same day in the 22nd, I got that pop-up. I of course said yes. It then took probably about half an hour and you can see that it was busy doing stuff and it went through every one of my videos and it validated the videos in some way to make sure that they are monetizable. And there's a lot of different things they look at. YouTube will let you put videos up there for the public consumption that are not necessarily ones that they will monetize. And they have a whole set of rules behind that, which I'm not going to go into now. I had a couple of them that popped up as not monetizable, and it came down to the ones that had in the thumbnail, believe it or not. It had those special characters that people put in in place of letters to change a word that is not so nice into just a bunch of special characters. Well, that is a no-no if you read through the rules. When they see something like that on a thumbnail, they will actually cause a problem. It will become a non-monetizable video. And you'll get over here, rather than says dollar sign on or video is being monetized, it'll change this to restricted 
and then you'll have to read through what the restriction is. It gives you a little note here and you'll have to correct it and then resubmit that for them to review. I had to do that on one of my videos and after a couple of days they came back and said it was fine now and it was all because I put these special characters in my thumbnail. The funny thing was I saw that same word on other people's thumbnails but without the special characters and YouTube was happy with that. But the algorithm itself is checking this that goes through and validates it. It doesn't really know what that word is. It just sees the special characters with a couple of mixed in real letters and it assumes that that's something that give the wrong impression to advertisers. So they restrict that one which means you can show it but they will not put ads on it if it says restricted over here. Now there are two terms that you will see used quite often in various reports that relate to monetization. I won't go into the showing you examples here right now because there's some confidential information on those pages but just keep these in mind. One is called CPM or cost per mill and mill in this case is the Greek word that represents thousand. So it's really the cost that advertisers have per thousand views of your video. Now that's the full amount they're paying. You don't see that full amount however. You see something called the RPM and that was only recently added within the last month or so by YouTube and that gives you the actual revenue per mill or the revenue you receive per thousand views of a particular video. There are other things that you can earn besides the advertisement however. Just be aware of that. If you happen to have channel memberships which I don't believe I can turn on right now. I have to have a few more thousand subscribers and they would pay like a monthly fee to be a member that gets special privileges on your channel. It also includes things like premium revenue and I've gotten some of that. You get a little more from premium members than you do from regular members. So that's part of that as well and you also have things like super chat and super stickers which generally refer to either live streaming or the premieres. Now I'm eventually going to do both of them but I'll probably do the premieres first. Maybe even on my next video I'll set it up as a premiere. Now once a YouTube video is monetized if you click on it here and go into the details of it the important thing here is this monetization. If you click on this what you'll see here is all your monetization options. Where are ads going to be placed? What it'll do is it'll make a best guess and you get to tweak those guesses here. What type of ads you want, which ones you don't want. The most popular is that everybody you're familiar with is the skippable video ads that allow you to get out of it after five seconds if you'd like. And you can have the ad show up before the video starts, after the video, and during the video, what we call mid roll, but that is only allowed if the video is at least eight minutes long. Now it used to be 10 up until very recently, maybe about a month, and they changed it from 10 to 8. I actually went ahead and revisited, I think, four of my videos that were between eight minutes and 10 minutes, and I made sure that I put proper placement on the mid-roll ads. Now this is important if you want to turn on mid-roll ads you should get it so that it doesn't cause grief for people. For example this video I happen to have four mid-roll ads. It's a long video about a half an hour long so I chose to put that many into this one. I also thought it would be a popular topic. I tend to try to have an ad no sooner than every five minutes. This one's a little bit sooner than that in some cases but you know pretty close. But you see these little marks here? That's when the ad is going to occur in your video. And these will show the actual start time within your video for each of the ads. You don't get to pick the odds. They'll pick them for you and insert them. They'll also pick which type. It may be one that is skippable. It may be one that is just a banner. All the ones that you chose on the previous page here are the ones that may show up. But I wanted to show you something here. Let's say you wanted to put an ad without interfering with people. If you know the exact minute that's great you put it in here but this is actually has finer definition than a minute. It doesn't show here you can't do it into actual frames but frames are available to you. So this is 30 frames per second. So I can actually put the ad to start anywhere within those 30 frames. So what I like to do and I spend a lot of time doing this. I like to amplify this out. And then if you look here I pick the actual spot that I want the video ad to come on and I do it so that it's synchronized with my chapter header. I just go ahead in here and play for this point. You'll see what it does. It's ending this chapter. This is one chapter in my video. Here we are. And as soon as that chapter header hit I put in the ad. I didn't want it to occur before that or after that because then it might break 
up something I'm saying in mid-sentence. Sometimes it's very difficult to do it, but the chapters do help. Now, once you're done, if I made a change, this continue would be in a green background, but it's not. So I didn't change anything. So I'll just hit discard changes, drop that window. And then if I go back to my video itself, these are the chapters. These are called video timecode chapters. As long as you start off with a zero, 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 you can say whatever you want. I'm not going to get into all the details of that in a future video. If you're interested, I can get into that's done. But there are many other YouTubers that have talked about that in detail. And YouTube likes this. If you put enough detail on it, they may put a link to your video They'll, when somebody searches it out just to that chapter. It's a very handy way to increase search connection to your video. Okay, now what I want to show you here is the actual revenue page. So what this revenue page is showing you for the last seven weeks, what I earned in revenue each day. The highest one I see here is way back when over here I earned $3.13 on June 30th. And the lowest I've earned has been around here somewhere, $1.30 on July 24th. And the total being $103.65 for that entire period. So that's really a major part of my revenue that I've earned since being monetized. But let me show you something else. And it relates to my Amazon affiliate program account. You can join the Amazon affiliate program whenever you want, but there are rules to actually get permanently installed into it. In particular, I was not able to do it when I tried it at just like about 100 subscribers. I then went ahead and joined the Amazon account, but I could not do the minimum number of validated purchases. And they have a minimum for that. I think it's like four, but I'm not 100% sure right now. And you got to be able to do that within the first six months. And I was unable to get the four by the end of the six months. So they turned off my account. They paid me the $11 I had earned. I decided at that point I wasn't going to go through that again because it took a lot of effort to create the links in the first place. So I waited till I hit a thousand. And on that same day that I actually hit a thousand, I went ahead and replied and got accepted. So let me show you how that has done for me. So here is my Amazon Prime account. This will probably differ from what you're used to seeing by one particular thing, and that's this extra ribbon here called the Amazon Associates Site Strip. I won't go on through all of this. I'm going to just jump right to the part that I want to show you, which is this earning tabs right over here to the right. So if I click on the earning tab, I can see my actual account with Amazon. This first page is a summary. And it's a summary for today's earnings. In today, what did I earn? 39 cents. This tells you what it is. There were 41 clicks on all of my links that I have throughout all my videos. Because it's the only place I have links. You don't need to have a YouTube account to have an Amazon affiliate account. If you have your own web page, or if you want to use Twitter, or you want to use Facebook, or anything else that will allow you to put links, you can actually put the links to products in that. But all I have is right now in YouTube itself. So this shows you they shipped one item. No items were ordered today. So this was an item that had been ordered previously. You know, it takes Amazon a day or two to ship things. There was no return items today. Conversion is based upon the links that I have, how many of them resulted in a ordered item. The shipped revenue was for a total of $15.69. And out of that, I made... 39 cents. By the way, if you want to join the Amazon Affiliates program, let me, I'll put the link up here in a moment. There's a lot of questions you have to go through and you have to answer tax questions and bank account questions and everything else like that. But uh, they also have additional ways to get paid, not just through your bank account. That's obviously one of them, but you can also get an Amazon gift card or you can have them send you a check. Now they have different minimums than YouTube's. It's a $10 minimum having earned in order for them to pay you through cash or gift card and a $100 minimum if you want a actual check drawn out and mailed to you because that's going to cost them more money, obviously. Let me start by giving a range showing everything I've earned. And you do that by selecting a custom date range. Right now it's set for just today. Actually, no, it's not today. It's yesterday because it closes the previous day's numbers. So everything you see now does not include today's numbers, but yesterday's numbers as the end of the period. I will change this one, though, to June. 18th, the day that I earned 1,000 subs on YouTube, and I'll apply to that. So this shows the whole history that I have and how much my total is up to this point. 
I have had 1,556 clicks on various links. 88 items have been ordered. 74 have been shipped. Five are returned. Unfortunately, if something's returned, they subtract that amount of money from your account. My total conversion of the links I have, how many of them were actually led to ordered item? Now that's any items that were ordered. So it's that's 5.66% out of this 1,556 clicks. I didn't get any bonuses, only certain items can get you a bonus. Things like getting people to sign up for Prime, for example, that'll get you a bonus. And then this here is sort of the log. All of the items that were ordered, you don't see who did it, but you see what items have been ordered, and if there's more than one, you'll get a quantity listed. So these are all the items that have ever been ordered through any of my links. And an important thing to understand here, they don't have to order the thing that I linked to. If they get into Amazon through one of my links, any one of them, and then they go ahead and peruse around and do other shopping, and they buy something else, even if that's the only thing they buy, then I get credit for that too. The ones that they show here, product link conversion, shows the ones that they actually ordered, the things I linked to. And as you can see, it's by far a minority. Now, if I click over on this tab here called the earnings, it shows all the money I earned from each of the items ordered. Now, let me sort this by highest number, just so you can see. Somebody ordered this LG 27GL850-B 27-inch monitor. That was my biggest one, $14.97, other than that $25 one I lost because it got returned. And then the next one was the uh, LG 27UL500. Dash w, which is the actual link I put in there. Somebody bought one of those. But last thing I want to show you on this is this thing called a fee schedule. This shows you what you get paid for. This chart here, it's kind of small. Let me try to zoom into it a little bit. And it shows all the different types of items that you get paid for and what percent did you get paid. This section here is the bounty, what they call the bounty events. Things like somebody doing a prime video, Amazon baby registry, Amazon business, and so forth. Those are the ones you really make some decent money on. These here are the basic ones. If it's a luxury beauty item, 10%. I don't think I've sold any of those, or my links haven't sold any of those. Mine tend to fall down here at the PC, PC component, 2.5%. Televisions and digital video games, even less. And then anything that's not listed here, you get 4% for. So I just wanted to show that breakdown as well. Now finally, I want to show you how do you get these links. So if you go to product links, this is the page you use to set up the link. So if you come in here and you pick this little box here, put in a name of an item. Now it may be an item you already have the name of from an Amazon history or your current uh, wish list or whatever it is. You type the name in here and you could just randomly type it. For example, I'm going to say AMD CPU. And if I hit go, it's going to try to match that text up. And I got a bunch of matches, all sorts of AMD CPUs. Now let's say if the one I was interested in was this AMD Ryzen 3900X 12 core CPU. It shows what the current price is and it happens to be on sale. That's what this indicates for you in red. So that's a good thing to do with the crossed out list price. This is the sale price. You then click on this thing here. You then click on this here next to get link the drop down and it gives you the link that you can use. Now this is the long form of it. That's what you get by default. I always like to get the shortened link. And then if you copy this link and bring it on into your YouTube video in the notes section, along with a description, then that's how you get the references to your Amazon affiliates account. So let's assume I copied that. I also like to copy separately the actual name they have here. So I'll go ahead and copy that, for example. And those two pieces of information, this name and the link, are what I then bring into my YouTube video. If I come back into my YouTube channel and I click on the videos again, pick any one of these. Let me pick the latest one again. You see these notes? It has my time codes, which are the chapters. But then what do I have here? Every one of these is a name and an Amazon link that's unique to me. So if somebody clicks on that link, it will actually go into my account. And if even if they don't buy that product that I link to, so any one of these links, if they go back and buy one of the other things, I'll get credit for it. And that's really all I wanted to show you here today. Well, that's it. That's all of the revenue gaining streams that I have associated with this YouTube channel. I went through all the details of my report and some of the other information that would be helpful to you in terms of how this all works, just in case you haven't already heard.
Once again, if you find something that I said has been useful or helpful in any way, I would appreciate you at least considering subscribing to my channel. It would be very helpful. My head will pop up here in a moment. Click on it, follow along, and subscribe. It does not cost you anything to subscribe to a YouTube channel. Just want to make sure that that's understood clearly. So until the next time, take care, and thank you so much for watching.